There is an old saying and it is every electronic circuit is as good as its power supply. And that's completely true. I found that during many experiments in the past uh, say uh, 40 years and I want to demonstrate here in this video this say um, power supply that is completely hum free and um, was made to supply a very tiny current say 100 milliampere or 10 milliampere or 5 milliampere it's a completely classical uh, say series regulator and the good thing of that series regulator is that on these uh, say output um, currents it's no problem it uh, doesn't generate a lot of heat even say no heat or a tiny amount of heat anyway um, circuit in practice is here you hear all kinds of disturbing sounds on the background my neighbors are busy with uh, say whatever doing something in their house or anyway um, I, I use this transformer and I had to use say a voltage doubling circuit that's here and then I used a one transistor stabilizer that's here the BD139 um, that transformer has of course a stray field and you can see that the core of that transformer is mounted in a certain direction to prevent that my circuit in the future my uh, audio filter that I want to make uh, with this power supply uh, is not or very very um, tiny influenced by the stray field of this transformer it's a transformer out of a nickel cadmium battery charger and say the good thing or the bad thing about the transformer is that it only delivers uh, 5.6 volts and that's the reason why I've used here a voltage doubler made with two diodes, silicon diodes, uh, two capacitors here so that you have here at the output 15.3 volts and that of course can be say uh, beautifully uh, stabilized to say 11 volts or 12 volts that's good and this is that part of the circuit the Zener diode sets the output voltage uh, the Zener value must be subtracted with the 0 0.7 volt voltage drop that falls here you can see that all these capacitors say the mains capacitors and the output capacitor and even the capacitor that bridges the Zener are uh, say bridged with small value capacitors 82 nanofarad and 100 micro uh, 100 mega ohm resistor so 82 nanofarad 0.1 microfarad so 100 nanofarad and also here 100 nanofarad and this capacitor uh, is soldered wired into the circuit because um, a Zener diode can sometimes give out noise this is by the way a Zener not a normal diode Zener diode uh, and in theory books I found for instance that a um, capacitor, non-polar capacitor of 100 nanofarad or whatever can say bring the Zener noise down and that's very important when we are talking about uh, audio amplifiers the power supply must be 
completely free of hum, just like a battery. Otherwise it has no use. It's completely useless to say uh, build um, audio pre-amplifiers or whatever. Anyway, go back to the circuit. Here that tiny transformer that was made to charge nickel cadmium batteries. Here is the voltage doubler. And here you see all these caps here and here and here that bridge the electrolytics and here the stabilizer. So at the moment the signal kit sorry the signal the um, power supply gives out 11.4 volts. The current flowing. Uh, in the in the circuit, I've made a dummy load here with this resistor. Gets a little bit warm. Had not expecting that, but anyway, uh, it is a 820 ohms resistor. That's the load now here at the output of the um, um, power supply, and that means that 33. 0.6 milliampere flows through that um, load, that dummy load, at 11.4 volts. More important, most important in such a case is always um, can you hear hum on that power supply. So I've connected here, hooked up the signal tracer. I now set it to the maximum voltage, uh, sorry, uh, amplification. And that means that we are now looking here at the output of the power supply and listen to sounds that are uh, present or are not present on that power supply. At first uh, we can conclude that there is absolutely no hum. And that's very important for audio. That is a pain, kind of pain that always pops up when you make audio amplifiers, pre-amplifiers, etc. So this is a good circuit that generates no hum. And I have of course connected my oscilloscope to the output. Let's lift up the uh, sensitivity to its maximum and again the line is completely straight there is absolutely no hum audible on this power supply so this whole setup is usable usable for um, especially say um, to supply small audio amplifiers, and I mean uh, pre-amplifiers, not end amplifiers. The current is too low for that application. But it is completely hum-free and that's very important. And I also discuss many of these problems, issues in my book. Uh, schematics to audio amplifiers and loudspeaker boxes. I've drawn here a filter. Uh, you will often see in say quality audio amplifiers a filter, a mains filter, that filters out all kinds of say disturbing signals on the main supply, say 50 Hz or 60 Hz, 230 volts or 110 volts. Uh, you can use that. Um, there are you can find them for instance in in computers. There always they use they use always such a mains filter. I didn't use it. Here the DC um, resistances say uh, 3,000 ohms here approximately, and here approximately 3.5 ohms. Of course measured. Uh, with a DC ohms meter, it tells us not so much about the impedance. Anyway, it's a it's an important value to know. 
bend over somewhat. Amplification factor of the trans uh, transistor is approximately 150. And this is the whole circuit. And of course this is much more interesting. Say a joy to see all these components soldered together. And uh, well, it's also clear to see that this will be my audio filter. And the whole power supply takes such an enormous space on the board where I uh, have uh, mounted it. But anyway, uh, you have to say, uh, offer something to get a power supply that is completely free of hum.